Alright folks, this is my first experience with the Old Town Autopilot 136. Maiden voyage for me. We've got all of our uh, electrical done. Still figuring out where to put stuff for fishing. So I don't have any fishing rods with me. It's uh, early in the season here in New Brunswick. Actually, 2023 season hasn't started yet. So, this is so weird for me not, not having thigh braces. Holy cow, this is a big, this is a big boat. Right off the bat, I gotta make some adjustments on. I want to check out. I want to check out my uh, live view transducer. I gotta watch out because there's some, there's some, some movies and anchors in here. But I don't see them. Alright. I am not used to being on a kayak that doesn't have thigh braces and all these other things so <laughs> it's really wide and stable i'm just used to being able to control it with my lower body it's gonna take some getting used to for me all right try out my live view. So hopefully we don't lose it here. Live view is picking up my propeller rotations. <laughs> that is really cool. Let's see there. My goose runs are back. 
So I'm in forward orientation right now, so it's looking out about 20 feet, showing my Minn Kota at about 5 feet, which is accurate. And I'm watching, I'm watching the propeller spin. This is the coolest thing ever. So I just want to see if I can pick up these moorings up here. Looks like grass in the water. It's slow. What a craft this is. I am very happy with it so far. For a fishing platform? Yeah, this is this is the cat's meow. Live view, I'm there's the propeller again. So I'm just looking for that structure up here, as you can see right around me. There it is. So there's a block. I don't know if the back camera can see that. There's a, uh, a mooring block right there. There's one. And that's going to be for that big private buoy, I assume. There's more moorings off to my right. You can see that from the back camera. Just mooring blocks and the lines off of them as well. There's another. I don't want to get wrapped up in the uh, ropes and things either. That's cool. So I'm happy with that. Turn that off so we don't lose power. So far I'm really pleased with the spot lock. We got 4.9 feet of water. Let us shut that off for a second. 4.8 right under us. So my fingers are getting cold. Try our power pole next. Make sure that's working like it's supposed to. Set up. So down. We got five feet of water. Oh, we're locked. We're on bottom. So that ought to keep us here. Now, I've got that turned on. So, coming from sea kayaks, I actually find that anchor a little unnerving because it's taking my balance control away from the boat. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. When I feel like the boat's moving a certain direction, I want to counter it. That's preventing me from like just my lower body. And you probably can't even see it on camera, but anyway, it's there. So this power pole works. Does it ever? So that works. All right, let's go for a little tour. So far, <laughs> the boat's plenty fast. Spot lock works great. Oh, before I go too far.
are in current now. Not a lot of it. I've seen a lot worse. Just want to see what kind of job is going to do. I just want to back off. One of the great features on the autopilot is the spot lock feature. Uh, right after making the initial part of this video, a couple days later, I went out for the first time sturgeon fishing on the St. John River. And in order to properly fish sturgeon, your bait has to sit on bottom and it can't move. Most people use an anchor to ensure that that happens. I actually caught this fish with just spot lock and it kept me in place. My bait didn't move was able to watch the live view and, and ensure that as well. It was, a, it was an awesome experience and that was all thanks to Autopilot. pilot the uh, ferry on Deer Island and it has two Z drive units and they're very similar to this. So if I want to stop, what I gotta do is boom. I take the power off. And I'm gonna line it back up so I can pull it out. And up she comes. So, my, uh, I guess I like this boat, it's uh, stable, I gotta get used to standing up on it yet, it's super stable, for sure, stable, fast, you know, for, for a, a kayak with a motor, very fast. Very capable. I see a little fishery here. Little minnows or something. Alright, the only issue with it, it's heavy. So, gotta factor that in. Alright, power pulls all the way up. I gotta go grab the truck and trailer now. So, it's uh, definitely launched from the trailer kind of boat. Trap down on the other side of the ramp.
Thanks for watching. If you like what you watched, please subscribe to our channel. We're working very hard to make meaningful content like this for you. Also, hit the bell button down in the corner to get live updates as we upload content. If there are paddling or outdoor related subjects you'd like us to cover, please contact us. We would love to cover them for you. And if you're looking for really cool outdoor and paddling related pictures, please check out our Instagram feed and subscribe there too if you like what you see. Thank you very much.